John Lyons, thanks very much for uh, hopping on with me. Uh, I'm going to show you my photo mechanic workflow. Now, it's a workflow that I've had in place for the better part of seven or eight years, maybe a little bit more, and I haven't tweaked it a whole bunch. So it works for me. Um, it's fast. Uh, it doesn't rely on Lightroom, except for raw processing. Um, it doesn't use the Lightroom database, so it's really quick. Um, it may not be the best for you or for anybody else, uh, but it is, I find it really fast and, um, uh, like I say, it works for me and I haven't tweaked it a lot over, over the years. So, you know, let's go, let's have a look real quick at, uh, um, let's open up photo mechanic there. Okay. So rule number one, you're going to see my raw files. So no judging. Okay, please. Um, Let's talk about first the folder structure. So um, I set up every wedding pretty much exactly the same. I use this blank set of folders here, this wedding template, and inside there are um, all the, de the destination folders. Uh, raw from camera is the raw ingest. Um, these are my selections. So after a few months, I'll get rid of this folder. Um, then these are, I output the JPEGs here, and then I sort them uh, into all the, the day parts right here. Uh, sneak peeks, obviously, and then a folder for Lightroom that's already set up and ready to go. Um, and then video files for Instagram stories and, and that. Uh, now this folder structure is also appears, not only here in a finder window, but uh, also right over here in the photo mechanic. So anything you can uh, get to in a finder window, you can get to um, uh, get to here in photo mechanic. So moving files back and forth between folders for sorting is super easy and I'll, I'll show you how, how that works. Um, let me, so uh, this is a wedding I'm right in the middle of, but let me show you real quick. I'll open up another web window here. Um, if I look at, let's say, Amanda and Greg, this has a lot. So um, I'll just grab the raw from camera. And 3,300 images just snapped open just, just in like one second. Um, and it renders the previews in the background. So by the time you get to it, um, your previews will already be drawn. And... So it'll do, and you can see how fast it is. And these are D800 files, which are pretty big. And you can see that selecting the, going through this lineup and making selections is super quick. Lightroom is fast, but I'm sorry, it's nowhere near this fast. Okay, so um, let's get rid of poor Amanda here. Bye. Okay. So this is the wedding from this Saturday that I'm trying to edit. Um, so you can see, you know, going through the files is pretty quick. So what I do is up here in this corner where I have uh, this little video screen here, I'll usually uh, put a show on from Netflix or Hulu or whatever, and uh, put my right hand on the left and right arrow keys. Uh, just to go back and forth and my left hand on the number one and um, I can usually get through a big wedding like this about 6,000 images in about two episodes of something um, so yeah about a, between an hour hour and a half maybe two hours to, to do a, a full event okay so uh, right hands on the left and right so I can go back and forth and my index finger is on the number one key, and then I just, uh, just sit back and get comfy. Sorry, my chair's a little squeaky. Um, okay, so Taylor and Megan, I'm gonna keep that one. Uh, Taylor and, so what's happening, and you can see it along the bottom, um, the little magenta lights up when I hit the one key. So one, and if I wanna take it off or untake it, just hit the zero. Um, so I'm not going to keep that because uh, their hand's flying away. Um, and 
Vanessa, yeah, that's gonna stay. Clear. No, I don't like her eyes, so I'm gonna take that out. And Ella stays like that. And oh, I like that little, but it's blurry. Crap. Okay, so she's out. And typically, I would only keep one or two from a sequence, which really helps to go fast. So, and you can see that in this little sequence of her, you know, there's what, like maybe 40 or 50 shots. Um, I'll only keep the one or two that are really the, the best. That's it. So that is pretty much it. Oh, the white balance back here is pretty crazy, isn't it? And there's the whole crew. So, and one of the reasons I really like this is during families, because then you can really just say, okay, who's blinking, who's not? Okay, there we go. That's good. Keep it. Uh, nope. There, so can we get rid of that one? Let's go to the next little sequence. And we'll play her again. And that is really about it for calling. Um, let's pick another section here. Um, this is a cool little area. There's a cool little pocket of light coming in from, from through the trees. And that is really it. Okay, so then once I've gone through, I will go through it again really roughly. Because um, I find my first class is usually, I get it down to about 1,000, 1,100 images. And I really try to get it down to seven or 800 tops. So um, in order to see the, the ones I picked, I just uh, go down here and turn off all the... Okay, so it will only show the magenta now. So if there's anything in here that I want to unselect, let's say that and that, that are pretty similar. So I will get rid of that one. I just hit the zero uh, and then it untags it right here so that when I go back now it's out of the, out of the run. Um, at this point, so let's say I've got everything Select it. I've got the whole wedding edited or called and ready to go. I've got it down to 400 images. Um, I will select all and then Command M or let's see, where is that? It's probably here under tools. Rename photos. Um, Command M. I just know the keyboard shortcut. Uh, rename photos and I will call this uh, Taylor. Kyle, wedding, uh, add the sequence, we'll start at number one, and then hit rename. I'm not going to do it now because I'm, I'm, not, I'm not done this whole wedding, so I'll hit rename, and then it will then rename, obviously, all of the, um, all of the images. Another cool thing it'll do is if you have two cameras and the timing's not set on them, you can go ahead and um, adjust the capture dates and times. So let's say your second photographer is, is off by, uh, maybe he or she didn't set daylight savings time. You can just go you know, by one hour and it will then advance or make the adjustment by one hour to all the images. So it's pretty, um, it's pretty slick. Yeah, you would for first filter out by the camera model and then do select all and then do that adjustment. Okay. Um, so then once this is all selected, I've renamed it. I'm 
going to select all, and then I'm going to drag all of these selections down to their raw selects folder. Okay, it moves them quickly, and then you can see here. Um, let's do Taylor and Kyle here. Um, it's moved them out of the raw from camera to the raw selects folder here, and they're all right there. At this point, then I would just uh, go here, launch Lightroom, and yes, I do use one catalog per wedding. I don't have it's I I don't have a year's worth of weddings in um, in a Lightroom catalog. I've got one catalog, one wedding. Uh, the main reason is well, two reasons. One is to keep that catalog moving fast uh, and not bog it down with thousands of images by the end of the year. And I do send my images out for raw processing. So I uh, will open up uh, Lightroom, import them in, make smart previews, and then send that off to um, my use image salon. Um, then I get it. But once I get the catalog back from uh, image salon or whoever you use, I will then output JPEGs to this folder. Uh, and then after a little while, I would get rid of this, maybe after three or four months. Once I know um, that they've seen everything and there's nothing missing or, um, uh, you know, they're happy with everything, uh, I'll turf this folder because this will be pretty huge. Um, yeah, 167 gigabytes. Yeah, we'll get rid of that as quick as possible. Um, so once I output the J JPEGs, I output them here. And let me go to another wedding back here. Um, so raw. So everything is in these folders. Uh, highlights. Oops, let me turn these back on. Come on. Um, or the first dinner, uh, ceremony, all the day parts are all right, right here, ready to go. Uh, and this is where I do the sorting. So, um, and you can do that here or you can do it here, um, whatever is easier for you. Um, okay, and then um, I will also use Photo Mechanic for uh, sorting for my blog post. So let's say um, these are the images that I've uh, I've kept, and now I'm going to go through and select all the blog posts, which I've done for this wedding, and they're all in red. So these are all the images I'll use for blogging. Um, and then sometimes I will hit number three, a different color to sort them if they're going to be in the portfolio, my final portfolio. So, um, and these um, tags will stay, like even if I close this um, and I open it later, those tags will stay. Okay, so that's about it. I'm sorry if, it, uh, if I didn't answer all the questions, but you can just drop a question in the, um, in the comments below and I'll, I'll check back in and see um, uh, if I covered everything. Uh, or maybe I'll do a Facebook Live later and uh, then I can answer questions in real time. Okay, thanks very much and uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. Happy editing.